Extended spectrum beta lactamases known as ESBL and carbapenem mazes are of great concern. As an increase in the number of resistant Enterobacter aureaceae causing infection are being detected. The current workflow for the detection of resistance in the microbiology laboratory requires isolation of the bacteria and the application of different methods, such as lateral flow immunoassays, biochemical tests, PCR, or Malditoff. These techniques take between 16 and 30 hours, meaning that the appropriate antibiotic treatment is delayed. For the first time, a new detection system, the NG Detect tool, provides fast, affordable, user-friendly and direct detection of beta-lactamases. The enzymes detected with this system are the ESBL of the five groups of CTXM, with the so-called NG Detect tool CTXM, and the carbapenemases KPC, OXA, VIM, IMP and NDM, using the NG Detect tool Carba5 in clinical samples. This device concentrates bacteria from liquid samples and eliminates the interferences due to the biological media, therefore improving the sensitivity. Thanks to this system, the detection of multidrug-resistant bacteria is considerably simplified and shortened. The NG Detect tool corresponds to a strip enclosed in a plastic device, in which sample treatment is carried out in a very simple way. The functions include a sample processing step and the immunological reaction that takes place on the strip. When working with a positive blood culture, the first step consists in mixing 500 microliters of the sample with 250 microliters of the lysis buffer and let react for a minimum of 2 minutes and a maximum of 30 minutes. Then insert the cup into the lower part of the device and load 500 microliters of this lysate into the cup. Close the filtration system with the upper part and push the sample through the filter using a syringe full of air until bubbles appear. When working with a positive urine sample, filtration is performed directly from the primary sample. In this case, insert the cup into the lower part of the device and close the filtration system with the upper part. Aspirate 5 milliliters of the liquid and some air using a syringe and push the sample through the filter until bubbles appear. When working with rectal swabs, Enrichment of the sample is needed prior to the use of the device. To do this, inoculate the rectal swab in 1 ml of transport medium. Transfer 400 microliters of this solution to 4 ml of brain heart infusion media, supplemented with ceftotaxime for the detection of ESBL using the NG Detect tool CTXM and ertapenem for the detection of carbapenemases using the NG Detect tool Carba5 and incubate overnight. After overnight incubation, load 500 microliters of the solution into the cup. Close the filtration system with the upper part and push the sample through the filter using a syringe full of air until bubbles appear. Once the sample has passed through the filter, unscrew the lower part of the device. Transfer the filter into the tank and remove the upper part. Then, Add 250 microliters of the extraction buffer to the cup and screw on the cap. This pushes the extract through the filter into the tank where the dried conjugate is located. Shake slightly to dissolve the conjugate. Lastly, break the bottom of the processing part by pressing it down to allow migration. Read the result by the naked eye after 15 minutes. The presence of an ESBL or carbapenemase in the sample tested will be detected simply by looking to see if a band appears in any of the test lines. For the NG Detect tool CTXM, a single test line will appear, whereas in the case of Carba5, five different bands can appear, corresponding to each of the carbapenemases tested. In both tests, a band corresponding to the control line will also appear, indicating that the test has worked properly. But what is happening during this process? The technology behind the device is based on lateral flow immunoassay principles. When the sample is in contact with the strip, it flows along, passing first through the pad where the conjugated antibodies are located. If the antigen is present, the conjugated antibodies will bind to it and continue to migrate along the strip. These antibodies will recognize the test line and a colored band will appear. 
The free antibodies will recognize the control line and a colored band will also appear, indicating that the test has been successfully performed. If no antigens are present in the sample, the conjugated antibodies will only react with the control line, so a single band will be visible. The NG Detect tool meets all the requirements you need in your laboratory. It is easy to use, allows rapid detection of broad spectrum beta lactamases, and is highly sensitive. With the NG Detect tool, you will save time and treat your patients in a more efficient way.